Hello everyone, this is Rollo with Winter Bros, and welcome to our overview of our latest tutorial for 3D modeling titled DAE to DEF. In the complete version of this tutorial, we demonstrate all the techniques that are required to successfully convert a static Collada DAE model into a DAS Studio prop, DUF prop that is. However, in this quick overview, we're simply going to cover the six major steps that are needed. So if you're an experienced DAS Studio modeler, uh, user, excuse me, uh, you should be able to follow along and create your own conversions from DAE to DEF. The first step in the process is you want to create your own 3D model as a DA and, and export it as a DAE or save it as a DAE using your preferred application for 3D modeling like Blender, Silo, or Hexagon, or whatever you like to use. In the complete version of this training, we uh, use a Blender model that we created. Uh, you can see it here on the screen. And what we did was uh, we exported this from Blender as once it was created uh, into uh, a DAE, a lot of DAE, and then we uh, imported it into DAS. Of course, the second step is of course importing that model that you just created using your favorite 3D modeling application uh, into NAS Studio and make any necessary adjustments to it. Here you can see DAS Studio 4.9, uh, where we've loaded, uh, we excuse me, we imported uh, using file import to bring our DAE model into DAS Studio. So any adjustments you'd need to it, we uh, you know like sizing, position, and whatever you need to make to fit it in DAS Studio the way you prefer it to be. And then once you've made all the adjustments, uh, what we do is uh, for our technique anyhow is we then take that newly created model and we export it as a master model from DAS Studio and to do that basically uh, you just use up here on the file export menu and you just choose whatever uh, file type works best for the model that you've designed and then you're gonna uh, re-import that master model right back into DAS Studio and the purpose of this whole thing here is to get DAS Studio to save it the way it likes it so when you re-import it now it's all configured for DAS Studio. So then you'd go up to the file menu for that and you'd go file uh, import but this time you wouldn't be importing the DAE you'd be importing the master model that you saved on the previous step. So here uh, we re-imported our model into DAS Studio and we'll go ahead and just uh, get the focus on to it again so we can see it and there it is and uh, we'll turn it around and you can see that it looks just like it did in uh, Blender. Of course the lighting and the environment makes a little difference and of course the uh, colors are slightly off and you can make adjustments to those as you need to. And then once you've done re-imported the master uh, you can go ahead and you know, create a DAS prop using that master model you just re-import it into DAS Studio. So basically what you're going to do is make sure it's selected in the scene tab over here and you're going to go to File, Save As, Support Asset, Figure Prop Assets. Then once you've saved your DAS prop, you're going to start a new scene again, and you want to test it to make sure it loads properly into DAS Studio as a DUF file. So you would start with a new scene, and then of course here you can see we've converted three different uh, items from our Nova Guardian set into DAS Studio props and here they are and we use the techniques that uh, we showed you in this overview plus that are detailed in depth in our new DAE to DEF uh, tutorial package. So what we do is on the testing you just basically would find the thumb now for the prop that you just created to start a new scene of course and then you would just double click it make sure it loads into the scene properly and you can see there it is down there it loaded in as a now it's a DAS prop it's no longer a DAE or a Blender item. It's actually a DAS, uh, actual DAS model we can use right within DAS Studio. That concludes our overview of all the uh, steps that we uh, use to make a, a DAE into a, da a DUF prop. Uh, if you're interested in, if you're new or inexperienced at DAS Studio and you need a little more in-depth explanations and some illustrations, then you might consider uh, checking out our DAE to DUF training package. It includes four versions to match your learning style, uh, has a plain text, has a fully illustrated Adobe PDF, and it comes with a WMV and MPV, uh, excuse me, MP4 video versions. 
So if you're interested in that, if you uh, visit our uh, website, the tutorial section, you'll find it listed there. Have a great day.